What's up, YouTube? Where else your boy Nightmare 10 once again, and I'm back finally with a wrestling related video. Um, as you can see by the title, I'm going to talk about the Intercontinental Championship ladder match that's happening at WrestleMania. It's gonna be the first of very many uh, videos talking about each match. I'm just gonna do a video per match, just you know, kind of keep it simple and just do something new. We'll see how it goes. But um, I'm gonna talk about all the main matches. Uh, I may throw in some. You know, like I might do one match or one video for like the Divas match and the, uh, what is it, the pre-show match or whatever. I might put those two in together or something like that. I don't know. May not even talk about them, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, let's talk about this ladder match. Of course, involves uh, my man Dolph Ziggler. Also involves Wade Barrett, R-Truth, uh, Stardust. Um, looking over here, right here, who am I missing? Luke Harper. Dean Ambrose and Daniel Bryan. I think I've covered everybody in there. Um, this should be a good match. I think it'll be, you know, a lot of uh, a spot fest, if you can say. Um, you know, I think Daniel Bryan, of course, is in this match, and Dolph Ziggler's in this match uh, to make it look good. <laughs> um, I kind of hate that they're in the match because they deserve. They both are at the point now. They deserve to have a uh, singles match at Mania. Um, but it is what it is. I mean, what are you going to do? But we've complained over and over again. Match shouldn't be happening the way they did a tug of war, in a sense, with the belt. Um, you know, uh, less pa a hot potato with the belt more uh, would be more appropriate. But, I, hey, it's what they're going to do. I don't, you know, it doesn't shock me by WWE anymore. So that's, it is what it is kind of thing. Um, who do I think is going to win this match? And, you know, how long is it going to get? Like I said earlier, it's going to be like a spot fest, I think. But I think it could open the show, um, actually. So we'll see how that goes. But, um, it, you know, I could be wrong. It might not open the show. But that's my guess is uh, at this moment that it, I could see it opening the show. Just don't really see what else they could open with, to be honest. But uh, I don't know if they would want to do a tag match as a pre-show match and then open with the ladder match. But... I have a feeling they could uh, they could they could start the show off with it. Otherwise, I really don't know what would start off the show to be honest. But, um, but anyways, I went on a little ramp uh, tangent with that. But I just think that um, this match is pointless. But if I have to pick a winner, because obviously um, someone's going to win this match, um, I would like to see, of course, Dolph Ziggler win it. <laughs> but uh, he's held the belt, so I kind of feel like uh, um, some some people I've heard said Dean Ambrose. I, I personally don't think he's going to win it. Um, I don't think Wade Barrett's going to win it. I don't think our truths going to win it. Um, I really think, I hope, I think and hope that it's either Daniel Bryan or, of course, my boy Dolph Ziggler uh, to win it. So, I think they could re rejuvenate the tag, uh, the tag titles, the Intercontinental Championship. I don't know if it's going to actually happen or if they'll be allowed to do it because it seems like WWE is trying to get people to not cheer for Dolph Ziggler and to not cheer for Daniel Bryan. So, will they... Is this where they're going with it? I don't know. Um, is it to try to have something to do uh, with Dan with Daniel Bryan or have something for Daniel Bryan to do? Probably more likely. Um, you know, so they can have a reason to put him on the card. Um, they should shouldn't have to have a reason. He's clearly the most over guy there. So I don't know why they have they would have to have a reason. But but that would be just. I'm pretty sure whatever their reasoning is, it's not logical. <laughs> I'm sure it's. They just threw this together because they didn't have nothing else to do. So, will Sheamus be involved in this somehow, or will they just save him for the night after Mania? Which they they've got some balls that they're gonna do that. So, um, they're not. This isn't about Sheamus, but whatever. I just think that uh, I, I just think it's Danny Bryan or Dolph Ziggler that wins this. The Ambrose wouldn't shock me if he won it, but I, like I said, I don't have. I don't think he's gonna win. But uh, but if they do somehow want to keep all the shield members safe, you know, let them all win at Mania so they could somehow do a triple threat with them all defeated, undefeated next year, which this would only be, I guess each of them would be three and zero if they all won. If I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I don't feel like figuring it out, but I think, yeah, they, if they won this year, they'd all be three and zero. Um, cause I think it was shield versus three random guys slash, uh, 29 and then 30 was, uh, was new age outlaws. So, right. Oh, and Kane, right? Was it the New Age Outlaws and Kane? I think so. So bad, I don't even remember. But anyways, so I guess there's really not much to say about the match. I hope this is a good match. I hope it's given time and not just like 10 minutes. I hope it's given like 15 to 20 minutes. Um, at least give me a match that entertains me. Um, it would kind of suck though. I know I said this earlier in the video, but it would kind of suck if it started <laughs> the show because what's going to follow it, <laughs> especially if it's given time. So I just don't really see anything else starting the show, so I just feel like this is this is the one they're gonna go with. They've started WrestleManias with Money in the Bank before, 
Um, so I kind of feel like they're going to show uh, shove this as a starting match, unless you know they uh, they're not going to start with divas. So I mean, I don't, I really don't know. Uh, or they could start with the Andre Battle Royal. That's another op option, I guess. They could start with that. So um, I don't even remember what opened last year. If I can't, oh, duh, Triple H, <laughs> Dan Bryan. They don't have that kind of option this year. So. Anyways, that's my thoughts uh, on, uh, I've rambled enough about it, but that's my thoughts on the Intercontinental Championship match, and I'll be back with the rest of the matches. Peace.